okay so now for the tail from the first until the third row we are going to do six single crochets so I already did that okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and we'll do that two times okay so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase and then you repeat that one more time okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of eight single crochet okay so you continue and do single crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so now in our sixth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and we'll do that two times for a total of 10 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three then increase in the next stitch and then you repeat that one more time okay so now in the seventh row you'll do single crochets all the way around for a total of 10 stitches okay so do single crochet until you get to the end okay now in the eighth row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and then we'll do that uh, one more time for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and increase and then you repeat that one more time okay so now in the ninth row you're going to do single crochets all the way until the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so do single crochets and then we'll do that 10th row together okay so now in the 10th row we are going to do five single crochet then increase and then we'll repeat that again for a total of 14 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then increase And then you repeat that one more time okay so now in the 11th row we are going to start by doing 10 single crochets so do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then after that we'll slip stitch in the remaining four stitches so slip stitch slip stitch in the next stitch in the other one and in the next one okay and then now in the twelfth row we are going to do six single crochets then increase and repeat one more time for a total of 16 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four 
five, six, and then increase. And then you repeat that one more time. Okay, so now in the 13th row, we're going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. So I'll see you when you're done with this row and then we do the 14th row together. Okay, so now in the 14th row, we are going to do seven single crochet, then increase and repeat that one time for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then increase. And then you repeat that one more time. Okay, so now in the 15th row, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of uh, 18 stitches. Okay, and then when you're done with that, we'll do the 16th row together. Okay, so now in the 16th row, we are going to do eight single crochet, then increase and repeat one more time for a total of 20 stitches. So you do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase. And then you repeat that one more time. Okay, so when you get to the end, I'm going to remove my marker. Then I'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. And then after that, we'll do the front legs. Okay, so now for the front legs, we'll start with six single crochets into the magic ring. Two three, four, five, and six. Okay, now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. So increase. And then we'll increase in the next stitch and increase in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in the third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around but in the back loop only for a total of 18 stitches so we'll go into the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet back loop of the next stitch do single crochet and then we'll continue doing that all the way until you get to the end okay so after that now in the fifth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll continue to do single crochets the normal way. And continue like that all the way to the end. Okay, so now in the sixth row, we are going to do two single crochets, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, 
two and increase repeat two single crochets and increase and you continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the seventh row we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and then you repeat two single crochets and decrease and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the eighth row we are going to do single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and repeat single crochet decrease and continue repeating that all the way until you finish okay so now uh, in the ninth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so you continue and do single crochet single crochets all the way until you get to the end of the row Okay, so now you're going to start stuffing your leg. As you can see, I've already started stuffing mine. So now in the 10th row, we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches. So we're going to decrease and decrease and you decrease all the way to the end. Okay, so now after we are done with that, now in the 11th row, we are going to start by doing single crochets. So we'll do single crochet and then we'll increase in the next three stitches. So we'll do an increase. One and then increase two then increase again one more time and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so single crochet and single crochet so we'll have a total of nine stitches okay so now after we are done with that now for the next six rows which is from row 12 to row 17 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row okay so you'll have something that looks like this okay so you're going to do single crochet until you get to the 17th row and then at the end of 17th row you're going to cut off the yarn and remember to stuff fully and then after that we'll make the back leg okay so now after we're done with the front leg this is how it should look like so now the back leg we are doing it the same way as the front leg but we are going to uh, to do it until the 13th row so it should be shorter than the back leg than the front leg okay 
so the back leg is until the 13th row of the same the same way you did the front leg okay so now let's do the frill okay so for the frill we are going to start with the chain 32 so we'll do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and you continue until you have a chain 32 okay so after we are done with the chain 32 now starting from the third chain from the hook we'll do double crochets all the way until the end okay so we count one two and then in the third chain we'll do a double crochet and then we'll do double crochet in the next chain and double crochet in the next one and then we'll continue doing double crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so after we get to the end now we're going to do a chain one two and then we are going to turn okay and then in the first stitch uh, we're going to do double crochet so we'll do double crochet okay and then in all the uh, in the next stitch we are going to do a double crochet increase okay so we're going to do two double crochet in the same stitch Okay, and then in the next stitch we'll do one double crochet and then in the next we'll do a double crochet increase and then we'll keep repeating that so double crochet and double crochet increase And repeat that all the way until the end okay so after we're done with that this is how it looks like so now when you get to the end I changed into the pink yarn and now I'm going to do chain 2 and then I'll turn okay and then I'll skip one stitch then in the next stitch I'll do four double crochet in the same stitch so I'll do double crochet one and then in the same stitch do another double crochet and then another double crochet and one more double crochet in the same stitch and then after that okay and then after that i'll slip stitch in the next two stitches so I'll slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch in the other stitch okay and then now after that in the next stitch I'll do five double crochet in the same stitch so double crochet one and then in the same stitch double crochet two three four five and then slip stitch in the next two stitches so slip stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch and then five double crochet in the next stitch so double crochet one two three four and five and then slip stitch in the next two stitches
okay and then you keep repeating that so five double crochet in the next stitch then slip stitch in the next stitches in the next two stitches and repeat that all the way to the end okay so after we get to the end we're just going to cut off the yarn and finish up okay so this one goes to the top of the head over here so we are going to attach it like that as you can see okay so now we'll make the horns and we'll start make by making the big horn and the big horns we are going to make two and one small horn okay so now for the uh, big horn we're going to start with six single crochet into the magic ring so one two three four five and six okay and pull through okay so now after that now in the second and the third row which is the next two rows we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of six stitches in each row okay so do that until the third row and then we'll start the fourth row together okay so after the third row this is how our horn looks like so now in the fourth row we are going to do a single crochet then increase and we are going to do that three times for a total of nine stitches so we we'll do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that so single crochet and increase and repeat one more time single crochet and increase okay so now after that for the next four rows which is from row five until row eight we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches so i'll see you when you're done in the eighth row so that we finish up together okay so after you're done with the eighth row i'm going to take off my marker and then slip stitch in the next stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so remember before we attach we are going to stuff uh, our horn fully okay and then after that you make one more like this so you'll have two like that okay and then now after that for the small horn it's the same way as we did this one but you'll do until the fourth row so one two three four so it's going to be until here okay and for the small horn you're going to make one okay so now after that we are going to attach all the parts together okay guys so as you can see i've already attached all the parts together so first of all i attached the frill to the head and I counted row one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh row, uh, from the back of the head is where you attach the frill like that, as you can see, okay? And then after that, I attach the head to the body and the body you attach it from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, till on the seventh row from the back of the head so this is how it looks like okay and then after that i attached the arms and the arms you attach them on the very first row of the body like that and also on this other side okay and you have to make sure they are in line with the legs down here okay and the legs you attach them on one two three on the third row from the bottom of the body straight like this in line with the arms 
and on this other side okay and then after that the tail you attach it at the back here and you count one two three four on the fourth row from the bottom uh, of the body that's where you attach the tail as you can see and also make sure to uh, to fill it up uh, before you attach it okay and then after that now I attached the two horns over here the big horns okay so you attach it from the frill you count one two and on the third row uh, from the frill that's where you attach it and on this other side and the small one you attach it one two three four five on the fifth row from the bottom of the head okay and you have to make sure it's in the center uh, of the other horns okay and then i embroidered the little eyes over here as you can see so the eyes are from the horns you count one two three four on the fourth row that's why i embroidered the eyes or you can use the doll eyes okay so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos until next time bye